Hi, Tamika Mosley, Everything Health. And I received a comment on my YouTube channel and I'm making this video just for this special person. And she left a comment on one of my videos that I made and I posted a while back called the dangers of sickle cell trait. Because so many people think, because we've been taught, we've been told this, from day one, if we have the trait, we can never have any issues, we'll never have any problems, um, we'll pretty much live a healthy life, but that is not true. Um, there's been several pro athletes who have died from the trait, because think about, <clears throat> we have the A gene and then we have the S gene. That S is still a gene that can sickle. And especially pro athletes, the way they go, 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 and they overexert themselves all the time. And what happened, uh, that, sec that sickled cell can still clot. It can still sickle. It can still get stuck. And it can still lead to um, strokes. And it can still lead to other complications. And, and therefore, there's been people that don't even play sports who have passed away. I'll, I almost died after having my third child. So people with the trait, especially around pregnancy time, can also have issues as well. <clears throat> so, excuse me, I'm, I, I moved to Seattle around all this beautiful, beautiful nature. And my allergies are just kind of acting up right now. But uh, her comment was, she wished I would have talked more about even flow and chlorophyll. So let me go ahead and jump into that. Um, I'm recently just now talking more about the trait because there's 300 million people, approximately 300 million people globally in the world that has sickle cell trait. And that's a lot of people. So people need to be educated on this and they should know what they need to take. So let me just explain more about uh, what, what my suggestions would be. So if you are someone that is extremely busy or plays sport and you're on the go all the time, you, you're overexerting yourself all the time, I would highly recommend taking Evenflow. Um, of course, you know, your water and eating correctly and properly. But let me just explain to people why <clears throat> I'm not going to just say water only. I can't tell you the number of people that I know who drinks liters and liters and liters of water, okay? But yet, <clears throat> water does not stop a crisis. And what I mean by that is so many people with sickle cell disease, so many people in Africa that I know, so many people even here that I know, even my son, back when he was going in in the hospital every two months with crises after crises, I mean, I mean, drank tons of water and in the hospital on fluids <clears throat> after fluids after fluids and and nothing. So water is healthy. It's, it's essential to our health and we do need it. So I'm not going to say not take water, but I'm not going to say water is the only thing that is going to prevent death because water number one, is not going to make the body produce red blood cells. Okay, so think about that. <clears throat> that S gene, that sickled gene, okay, that can turn into sickled cells, like moon shape, when they are depleted from ox you know, of oxygen, right? So water is not going to make your body produce red blood cells. Um, and I'm trying to explain this the best that I can. And and I just kind of want to explain the difference. But now when you talk about even flow, even flow contains 11 herbs, enzymes, and minerals. And these herbs have the power to make a person's body produce red blood cells. That's why if you're anemic, if you have sickle cell, sickle cell trait, any type of issues with your red blood cells, uh, even flow is amazing because it actually make the body naturally produce red blood cells. And I'm going to tell you how I know this because a long time ago when I used to take Aiden for his uh, appointments years ago, he hasn't seen his hematologist in over like six or seven years now because now I know what to do. 
Now I did take him the first two years of starting the natural route just to make sure that he was good. But now, um, after those two years, you know, I pretty much know what to do and he's been healthy, you know, ever since. But the doctors would always tell me his hemoglobin is really good and they would always make the statement and say, he is producing lots of healthy red blood cells. And when they take your CBC, they can see this under the scope. They can see your retic count. They can see if you are producing red blood cells. This is something the doctors can see and they can tell. And so Aiden's doctors always told me that. They always would say he's making plenty red blood cells. And that was really important for me because that's what I wanted to know. I wasn't too concerned about the hemoglobin because hemoglobin, you can have a a seven hemoglobin, which you know is is not a good good number because uh, kids should have at least 11, 12, 13 hem hemoglobin. But having a seven hemoglobin is okay. But his red blood cells, he always was producing healthy, plenty healthy red blood cells. So this is why I recommend for people with a trait to take the even flow especially if you are noticing pain if you're noticing already uh, like she stated extremely tired you know and just um, just tired all the time you know even when I was in basic training I would notice myself and I didn't know anything that was so long ago I didn't know anything about any natural healing back then but just over the course of my life I would see how extremely tired I would get and it didn't dawn on me. I didn't even know I had sickle cell trait until I got out of the military. But I know people just say that they're extremely tired. Um, some people have uh, pains in the arm, pains in the legs. Um, some people have told me that they have arthritis. They have gout. Um, some people with the trait actually get blood transfusions. So I would just highly recommend that if you're a person that's already in a lot of pain or you're tired or you play sports, definitely just take the even flow. Uh, yes, eat your uh, eat plant-based foods. Try to eat healthy foods. You, you know, we have to start changing the way we eat. We cannot continue to eat these processed foods because they're killing us. Now, for someone with a trait that uh, is not active, right, so you're not really uh, playing sports you're not overexerting yourself you just live a really calm mild life you know pretty much laid back then for that person I would say the liquid chlorophyll would be enough you know uh, if you want to do the even flow that's fine but I think someone that is just kind of laid back and not really uh, putting a lot of stress on the body the chlorophyll would be amazing for that person so uh, this is for the person who left the message on my YouTube video. I just want to explain to you for your son. Uh, definitely, I would just start him on the even flow. This will get him going really, really good. If he goes through two bottles and then even after that, you know, you can switch to the chlorophyll and just give him chlorophyll every day. But this is going to ensure that that other S gene in his body or, or this is going to ensure that his body continues to produce red blood cells on a consistent basis so that S gene that he does have is not going to even have a chance to uh, deplete itself or it's not going to have a chance to start sickling, you know, for any reason because you're putting stuff in your body that is making your body produce healthy red blood cells. And I hope this has helped. If you have any more questions, you can definitely leave me a comment. So thank you very much and talk to you all soon.